Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, you will learn how you can update the live items of your Webflow website automatically from your Google Sheets. So guys, if you want to keep your website's content fresh without much manual hazel, you can use this automation here. You just have to add the live item IDs and the data that you want to update in a spreadsheet in Google Sheets. And as you are going to add the data, the live item will be updated automatically inside Webflow. And guys, you can set up this whole automation without any coding really easily. So without any further ado, let's begin. To set up the workflow of our automation, we are using Pavli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And you can reach this page using the link in the description. From here, you can sign up for free and you will get free automation tasks every month. So guys, sign up right now from the given link. And after that, you can sign in to reach the dashboard. From the dashboard, click on this create workflow button to set up the workflow. Here you can give a suitable name to your workflow. So let me give a name here. So guys, I have given this name, update live items in Webflow from Google Sheets. Now click on create button and you can see the workflow page is loading up. And on this page, guys, you will find the basic building blocks of our automation, which are the trigger and the actions. So guys, trigger is that event which starts the workflow and the action is the automated response of the trigger. So there can be many automated actions for a particular type of trigger. In our use case, guys, we are adding the details of uh, Webflow's live items and the update that we want to make in a spreadsheet in Google Sheets application. So this is my spreadsheet in which I am adding the details of the items that I want to update. So here I have added the line item ID, the content that I want to update. So basically I want to add an image to my existing live items. So I have added the image link here the blog's name and the slug. Now the question is where to find this live item ID and blog name and slug. Okay, where to get these details. So guys, to get the details here, I have already created an automation previously. And here is the workflow you can see. In this workflow, we are creating a live item post from Google Sheets. So here in this trigger, I have connected this spreadsheet in which I am adding the details of the live item that I want to create. So here we have the post title, the post content, the post date, and I have captured the data here. After that, I have used an action to create live items. And here how here's how by mapping the data, I have created the live item. And in the response section, guys, you will find the ID. Okay, the line live items ID, the slug, the name, and the block content, everything. Okay. And then guys, I have used Google Sheets again here in the next action step with add new row action to send this data that I have received here in this response section to this spreadsheet. Okay. So this is a two part automation we have. So for, for this automation, I have already created a video and I'm going to paste the link of that video in the description. You can take the reference from that video, how to create light, live items. Right now I'm showing, I'm going to show you how to update live items using this data coming from Webflow only. Okay. Or you can just open the workflow and manually add this data as well, but that can be a bit time consuming. So uh, you can create the two workflows as well. Okay. Right. So guys here now in this uh, workflow to update the existing live items, I'm going to connect with the spreadsheet first in the trigger. So search for sh Google Sheets here. Okay. And select the trigger event as new or updated spreadsheet row. And it will give you this webhook URL. So with the help of this webhook URL, we are going to capture the data from our spreadsheet to here in this workflow. Okay. So you need to follow these instructions written here to get the uh, connection created with the help of this URL with Google Sheets. So you can just read the instructions or you can just click on this watch tutorial link and you will reach the YouTube channel. And here we have created a separate video to create a connection with Google Sheets. You can watch that video and then you can bring the test data here. So when you copy this webhook URL, to uh, connect with Google Sheets, it will start showing waiting for the response already. Okay, so here, uh, 
after creating the connection, you, we need to bring the test data from our spreadsheet to here in this workflow. So let me bring the test data by following these instructions. So guys, the test data is captured here, you can see. And in this test data, you can see we have received the same data that I entered in the spreadsheet. It is showing the spreadsheet's name. So the spreadsheet's name is Webflow Post Updates. The same is here, you can see. Then it is showing the slug. The slug is slame automation dash integration. And you can check all other details as well. The blog name is here. The live items ID is also here, right? Now, after getting this data, the next step is to update the same live item in Webflow. So in this action window, search for Webflow and use the action event as update live item. So like this, then click on connect button. From here, select add new connection. And here it will ask the API key or the token key of Webflow application or the uh, the project that you are integrating here. So you need to open the Webflow applications dashboard. So guys, this is my Webflow applications dashboard and here I have created two uh, websites. I have two projects. Uh, one is Techno Institution and other is this super cool. So in this Techno Institution, I'm going to click on this three dots and from here I'm going to click on settings. And under the settings page, guys, you will find this integrations tab. Click on it. Under integrations page, when you scroll down, guys, you will find the access API access section. From here, click on this generate new API token button. And here's how the API key will be generated. So you just have to copy this key and you have to paste it here in your workflow here in this API token field like this. And you can you have to enter in this format. You can see you have to put this bearer word as well. Just copy this bearer word as it is and paste it here in front. Then okay, put a space and now you have to paste the API key and click on save and you will be connected with Webflow. So we are now connected and here it started showing the sites to choose. So from here you can you can see it is also already showing the uh, project I'm working in because from there only I have created the API key. Then here it has started showing the collection from where you want to uh, update the thing. So here guys, you can select the collection and here it is, uh, it is showing the items. So I have selected blog posts. Okay. And in the item section, I'm going to map the live item ID that I have captured that I've already present in my spreadsheet and the data I've got here in these labels. So I'm going to map this live item ID here in this step, in this field, in this item option. So toggle this map button to on, then erase this help text. And you can see as I'm clicking here, the previous steps is appearing here like this. And from here only, I'm going to map this live item ID label like this. Okay. So I have mapped the ID. Okay. And here it is asking for the main image. So in this in image field only, I want to up, I want to place the image that I got from the spreadsheet and I want to update it. So just click here and from the previous step, map the image link, this update content image link. Okay. Coming from spreadsheet. Then it will ask for block summary, block content, block content and summary I do not want to update. So I am going to leave the things blank, which I do not want to update. If you want to update the whole live item or blog, you can fill all the data. Right now I'm just going to map the name because it is a required thing. You will get the blog name here in this spreadsheet. Then slug, slug is also required. Here is slug. Then in the archived, uh, field, you need to type true or false. If you want to archive the uh, live item, you can make it true. Either you can make it false. In draft also, just put true or false. If you want to make it as a draft, you can make it true or false. Here you can place the date if you want, or you can leave these things blank because these are not necessary things to map. Okay, I have just mapped the things which are necessary and which I want to update. Now by clicking on save and send test request button, you can check the connection with workflow and your live item will be updated. Let me show you. I'm clicking on save and send test request button. 
so guys here you can see in my web flow i am under the blog post section and under this blog post you can see the image got updated here okay you can open this and see it here and this is the same image that i had here in my spreadsheet like this you can see this is the same image so this is how it is going to work guys so we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up it only once after that it will work automatically guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel